your son is dead. So my son Xavier is dead. Killed by the woke mind virus. So I vowed to destroy the, mind, the woke mind virus after that. Elon Musk, the billionaire CEO of Tesla and SpaceX, has ignited controversy by claiming that his estranged transgender child was killed by the woke mind virus after he was allegedly tricked into approving gender-affirming care. In a recent interview with psychologist Dr. Jordan Peterson, Musk described the situation as a trick and criticized what he calls the woke mind virus for influencing his child's transition. I was essentially tricked into uh, signing documents uh, for one of my older boys, Xavier. Uh, this was before I had really any understanding of what was going on, and we had COVID going on, and so uh, there was a lot of confusion. Um, and, um, you know, I was told, oh, he, you know, Xavier might commit suicide if, if he did. That, that was a lie right from the outset. No reliable clinician ever believed that. There was never any evidence for that. And also, if there's a higher suicide rate, the reason is, is because of the underlying depression and anxiety and not because of the gender dysphoria. And every right. goddamn clinician knows that too. And right. they're too cowardly to come out and say it. Musk's child, formerly known as Xavier, now goes by Vivian Jenna Wilson after legally changing their name and gender in 2022. Musk contends that he was misled about the necessity of puberty blockers, asserting he was told it was a matter of preventing suicide risk. And so I lost my son, essentially. Uh, so, you know, they, uh, they call it dead naming for a reason. Yeah, I... All right, I'm, so they, the reason it's called dead naming is because uh, your son is dead. So my son Xavier is dead. He's killed by the woke mind virus. The woke mind virus is a term Musk has used to describe his concerns about progressive ideologies, particularly in relation to identity politics and their perceived influence on culture. He believes this virus amplifies divisiveness and claims it is communism rebranded. Musk has vowed to destroy the woke mind virus after his experience with his child's transition, stating, All right, so let's... So I vowed to destroy the, mind, the woke mind virus after that. And we're making some progress. Join the club. Yeah. The cultural context of the term woke itself has evolved over time, originally emerging from African-American vernacular English, AAVE, as a call to awareness regarding social injustices. However, in contemporary discourse, it has often been weaponized as a pejorative to criticize perceived excesses in social justice advocacy. Elon Musk's estranged transgender daughter, Vivian Jenna Wilson, has forcefully responded to her father's comments about the woke mind virus and his assertion that it killed her. In her first public interview with NBC News, refuted Musk's claims that he was tricked into approving her gender-affirming care, stating he was not by any means tricked and knew the full side effects. Wilson criticized Musk's portrayal of her childhood, dismissing his characterization as entirely fake and stating he doesn't know what I was like as a child because he quite simply wasn't there. She recounted that when Musk was present, he relentlessly harassed her for her femininity and queerness. In a post on Threads, Wilson rejected Musk's claim that she was born gay and slightly autistic, saying these traits contribute to gender dysphoria. She accused him of peddling harmful stereotypes about trans and queer people in an attempt to garner sympathy points. Wilson also addressed Musk's use of her birth name, Xavier, stating, I look pretty good for a dead She clarified that she was the one who disowned her father, not the other way around, and criticized him for his absence during her childhood. The 20-year-old expressed concern over the stringent requirements for accessing gender-affirming treatments, noting that teenagers often feel compelled to demonstrate extreme risk of self-harm to gain approval. She felt judged by Musk and psychologist Dr. Jordan Peterson during their discussion for not appearing to meet their criteria for risk. 
agree to this radical transfer. In a recent speech, former President Donald Trump emphasized the need to ban the transgender movement. This comes after a recent event at the 2024 Olympics, where a biological man who identifies as a woman competed against a woman in a boxing match. He spoke passionately about the importance of protecting children. Left-wing gender insanity being pushed on our children is an act of child abuse. Very simple. Here's my plan to stop the chemical, physical, and emotional mutilation of our youth. On day one, I will revoke Joe Biden's cruel policies on so-called gender-affirming care. Ridiculous. A process that includes giving kids puberty blockers, mutating their physical appearance, and ultimately performing surgery on minor children. Can you believe this? I will sign a new executive order instructing every federal agency to cease all programs that promote the concept of sex and gender transition at any age. I will then ask Congress to permanently stop federal taxpayer dollars from being used to promote or pay for these procedures and pass a law prohibiting child sexual mutilation in all 50 states. It'll go very quickly. I will declare that any hospital or healthcare provider that participates in the chemical or physical mutilation of minor youth will no longer meet federal health and safety standards for Medicaid and Medicare and will be terminated from the program immediately. Furthermore, I will support the creation of a private right of action for victims to sue doctors who have unforgivably performed these procedures on minor children. This controversy has sparked a fierce debate about parental rights, transgender health care, and the impact of cultural and political ideologies on personal choices. Critics argue that Musk's comments may harm and stigmatize transgender individuals, while supporters believe he is addressing valid concerns about the medical treatment of minors. The origins of the woke mind virus concept remain ambiguous, with some linking it to broader societal critiques of progressive ideologies and their perceived influence on culture. What are your thoughts on this matter? Let us know in the comments section below. And hey, if you would like to support us, you can hit that subscription button and like the video. It helps us reach more people. See you in our next video.